Hi everyone, my name is Fadwa Yusuf. I am the system navigator working with Afro. Afro, uh, well, in short, is African Family Revival Organization. We are here based in Kitchener, Waterloo, and we are based at uh, the Family Center in Kitchener. We actually work and serve Black and African families who are based in KW. Happy to be here with you. The purpose of this video is to just quickly share with you the importance of social interaction and social engagement when it comes to our children. I know this year has been very difficult for our children to get back to the normal, the new normal. With everything being lifted up, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of worry, a lot of concern. And there's that social awkwardness. Now getting back to socializing and engaging um, with their peers. So how do we support our children? How do we help them go back to the new normal, go back and give them confidence to start socializing and engaging and interacting with others, with their friends, with their peers, with their fellow uh, friends or students, and even with their teachers and educators. There's a couple of things we can do. It's very important for us to recognize social interaction is key to our children's brain development. It's key to their confidence. It's key to building not just confidence, but skills that are necessary that builds on when they get older. And it starts from a younger age. This social awkwardness, I can relate to it, <laughs> you know, as an adult. So imagine what a child is going through. You know, the birthday parties they've missed, the social engagements they've missed, the activities, the games that they, they were used to no longer was there. Now they're getting back there and they don't know what to do with that space. They don't know what to do with their peers. How do you begin a conversation, right? So having that conversation and just helping them and supporting them, preparing them to get back to the new normal is key. And it actually depends on us as well in our confidence. So if we show that we have resistance to that, our children will resist social engagement. But if we open ourselves to that and show, bring that confidence in our children, it will make a huge difference. So what can we do? Well, what we can do is actually um, look at social engagement and social interaction as a healthy way of communicating and interacting with others. Right? So we come with that perspective, knowing that, okay, this is the new normal now. You know, we are past the isolation. We are past all the restrictions that were there. But how do we engage with others in a safe manner that we keep ourselves safe as well as those we are interacting with. So there are programs and services within the KW area, and I would like to share some of the programs that Afro offers that are very engaging, that are very um, catered to building confidence, uh, empathy, and communication skills. And these are skills that are necessary for children to learn so that they can go out there and engage with their peers in a healthy manner. So some of the programs that Afro offers, actually mostly of the programs that we offer, we have them at the Victoria Hills Community Center in Kitchener. So we have four days out of the week. Mondays, we have two programs that run there. Uh, the first program is for the five-year-olds to nine-year-olds. And you can just bring them there. It's a drop-off. Bring them. There's a form you fill it in. And that's it. You just walk away. And we have um, professionals there, staff there that do offer these programs to these young children. And then we have another program on Mondays as well. And this is for 13 year olds plus. And this is usually in the evening from six to eight. Same thing, you just register for the program and I'll have all the information on how to do so and how you can connect with us. And that's on Mondays. And then every other Tuesday, we have a youth basketball program. And this is for the boys. They come in, they use the gym and they interact and they connect. This is a perfect time for if you have youth, they can come in and play and connect with others. And social engagement sometimes it just doesn't have to be sit down and communicate, but it also can be through activities. The other program that we offer is on Wednesdays. And this is the teenagers, 13, no, preteens, my apologies, uh, nine-year-olds to 12-year-olds. 
and you can bring them. We have an amazing group of kids who come into the Victoria Hills Community Center and take advantage of these programs that we offer. And it, may, it has made a huge impact in their communication skills and how they interact and how they engage with their peers. And then on Fridays, we have a girls program. That's the teen class. Amazing program. It's an empowering program. Amazing. If you have any girls over 13, please make sure you bring them there. So all these programs offer different skills. Okay. But it's all based on mental and emotional strength, mental and emotional wellness. We have a black counselor who's there and supporting these kids, you know, when it comes to communication, when it comes to engaging, when it comes to social interaction and engagement with their peers, you know, expressing themselves, learning about communication, empathy, and great skill to learn. I'm telling you, it's an amazing program. Bring them in and we also need volunteers. So if you know any youth who is looking for hours, or maybe to gain some skills, we do always require and in need of volunteers to come in and help us and support us. Uh, we need volunteers for our uh, seniors program. Um, we have a support through the generation, and this is a great way for our youth to gain their volunteer hours, but also to learn from the seniors, to learn the wisdom from the seniors, but at the same time, help the seniors learn a new skill maybe technology how to use zoom or set up zoom account or maybe a social media account you know so these are the areas that the youth can help the seniors and also gain some wisdom from the seniors so here we are the, all the information on how you can connect with us will be below here connect with us via email phone number we have flyers that have been attached to this video we look forward to hearing from you please 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 Let's get out of the house and get rid of this social awkwardness and get back to the normal way of interacting and making connections and building resilience, continued resilience, because our children have that in them. They have the capacity in them. We just need to just do a little bit of a push <laughs> and get them to be uncomfortable with being too comfortable. I think you can relate to that as well. So please let's stay well and be safe. Even while we are doing this, safety is also key to our health. Stay well and safe. Take care. And we look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye-bye.